There are 13 athletes in the Dubai Golden Mile. From all over the world, number one, John Walker of New Zealand, the world record holder 349.4, the Olympic champion. Ken Hall from Australia, who ran behind Walker in that world record race. Sebesta 355.2, also set in that race. Wearing number three, the first of the Americans, twice the American champion, Steve Scott, 23 years old, at best time of 3 minutes 53 seconds. Craig Masbach from Oxford University, 24 years old, at best time this year, 354.7. From Japan, the Japanese champion, Takahashi Ishii, has a much faster time over 1500, but has broken 4 minutes. Steve Lacey of the United States wears number 6, 23 years old, has a best indoor time of 354.7. The European record holder, number 7, Thomas Wessinghager of West Germany at 352.4. Eamon Coughlin, currently the fastest in the world, wears number 8, 352.9, the world's best time. And the crowd's favourite wears number 9, Sebastian Coe, best time only 357.6. The Commonwealth champion, Dave Moorcroft, number 10, best time of 355.1. The baby of the race, at 18 years old, number 11, Graham Williamson, 355.8, his best time, a European junior record. And the local man, wearing number 12, Björg Rud of Norway. And finally, 22 years old, John Robson, unlucky 13, a best of 354.3. The tense moments now before the start, the athletes waiting, having been introduced to the crowd. All the pressure on this man really, John Walker, two operations on his leg in the last 18 months now fighting his way back to fitness and his courage being shown on the track every time he's set out to attempt to beat any of this opposition during the last season. Eamon Coughlin, the recent 5,000 metre winner at the 3 A's Championship, Sebastian Coe, Thomas Vessinghager wearing number 7 and Dave Moorcroft number 10, he too has had injury problems lately with his hamstring. Number 4 with the spectacles is Craig Masbach at Oxford University and Ken Hall from Australia. Ishii, the little Japanese, and then Steve Scott, the man who is expected to pick the race up, doesn't want a slow race, would rather sacrifice victory for a fast time. Lacey there in the red vest, and on the outside, John Robson from Scotland. John Walker in lane two, just jogging back up the track to shake his legs loose, and in fact they're calling him forward from the start, and Walker having to increase his speed to get onto the line. And so they're away, and immediately Sebastian Coe almost pushed into the lead. Coe finds himself in the lead, I'm sure that's not really what he had in mind. Uh, we know that Steve Lacey, who's coming through now, has offered to take at least the first two laps through, and we have a feeling that Steve Scott will want to take at least the third lap, and he'll hope to be coming through the tape at the end. Lacey gone off quite quickly. The rest of the field bunched in behind him, Lacey taking a look over his shoulder to make sure he's not gone off too quickly. We need an average lap of around 57 seconds, and that's the sort of pace they're looking for. Steve Scott in second, Sebastian Coe in third, Graham Williamson fourth. Right at the back, at the moment, Eamon Coughlin, who currently is the fastest in the world. Coughlin and Walker bringing up the rear, taking a very leisurely first lap. So Lacey and Scott, the two Americans, Williamson, here's Wessinghager coming around into third place. Number seven, the West German, and the first lap there of around 57 seconds. Lacey taking it out, and Scott right up the back as we expected. Scott, the man that wants to keep this field moving. Thomas Vessinghager loose in fourth place, and now Sebastian Coe moving up. He's threatened that if the pace is fast, he's going to sit in there. He's going to hang on. He wants a fast time too. Eamon Coughlin out on the far left there. I think shouting at Lacey there, wanting to keep the pace moving. He doesn't want to be left with a kicker's race in the last 200 metres where all the sprinters might fly past him. All the field now bunched in pursuit. They know that, the, that a fast race is on as they've moved through. They've had a 
58 first lap and they're coming through they're on schedule for a similar sort of pace on the second lap as they go through that's about 155 for the half mile and out goes Lacey so it's now up to Steve Scott of America and Sebastian Coe's gone with him and they're leaving the field a gap has opened up Wessinghager not able to move with them this is a decisive break yes I think they misread the race there when Lacey dropped out it left it beautifully clear Codlin's seen the danger number eight and he's chasing after but Scott as Lacey dropped out Scott kicked hard and only Sebastian Coe responded and these two are well clear and when you think of the caliber of this field the world's finest runners and Scott and Coe are well out in front and Scott has to keep going because he must be terrified of Coe's ability Coe's devastating finish and look how relaxed he is Scott laboring already turns around and sees Coe and Coe's going past him and it's already opening up 10, 15 yards on the field and Coe at the bell he's going to be ahead of the field he looks over his shoulder the time at the bell is 2.53 they're not only on to a great race here but we're on to a very, very fast time if Coe can finish with the same sort of strength and aggression that he did as he takes Scott on this last lap we could be on for a world record even it's Coe now eight, nine yards in front of Steve Scott, the American, and yards and yards in front of the rest of the field who are bunching in pursuit, they're sorting out, but really it's a matter of strength. It's Coe now against the clock, and all of the field could be on for a very fast time, but it's Sebastian Coe really making the rest of this field look very, very pedestrian. He's looking round, but he must be confident. A slight grimace, but he's so relaxed and he's coming away all down this field. Now they're waking up in the pack behind, but it's too late, they're forgotten. Coe's got time to look around, the crowd are rising, and the time extremely fast. Very near that world record, 3.49.4 it was, and he's underneath it. It's a new world record for Sebastian Coe. His second in 12 days, a phenomenal run, a fraction of a second under 3.49. Another barrier broached by this remarkable young man. 22 years old and he has the world now at his fingertips I'm sure that Coe doesn't yet realise what has happened the crowd are quite excited he's just thrilled to have won and there it is confirmation 3 minutes 48.95 seconds a new world record for Great Britain Sebastian Coe the 22 year old Loughborough University student just recently graduated in economics and the crowd going wild everybody chanting clapping with his rate, with his stride rate and he's going there to collect the applause and a Union Jack from the crowd attached to the branch of a tree what a marvellous moment for this young man so modest, so able, but so tenacious on the track his father almost in tears at the side of the track, Peter Coe it really a most emotional moment and he's so effortless, look at that, he's full of running still he's Obviously excited, what a triple he's pulled off, he's got his degree, he's broken the world record for the 800 metres and he's come back to the same town on the same track and broken the world record for the mile. Steve Scott shakes his hand, Scott can't be too disappointed really. What a fantastic run.